So we're gonna have to get a falconry glove, get her off of this perch, one-legged without breaking her leg, and then we're gonna have to put a hood on her so that we can manipulate her in such a manner that we can put this back on. <laughs> Yo, we're back! Good morning! <laughs> So Jenna, you guys are probably familiar with, but she's gonna be pursuing her falconry apprenticeship ahead. We just introduced you to Bolt Cutter, AKA Lucy. Yeah, and the worst possible thing happened. She broke one of her cuffs, her anklets. And normally, you know, you would build up your trust with a falcon before you would attempt to do what we're gonna have to do today. What we're gonna have to do today is we're gonna have to rehood her, which is probably gonna be a chore. And then I'm gonna have to hold her like a football, stretch her leg out, and then Jenna, without getting eight talons in her arm, is gonna have to attach these two cuffs. So what had happened was, is overnight, it broke out one of its anklets because they dry rot. When the leather gets old, I mean, how often do you replace anklets? Like yearly? Le yearly, at least. And yeah. I don't think it was done. But just to show that, you, that we're gonna have to do it this way, Come over here with me and I'll show you what's gonna happen if we just do it the way I do it with, for Mars or for one of the Harris Hawks. Typically, you would build up your trust with a bird, okay? And you would be able to walk up to the bird and you would say, hey, look, I'm just going to, I'm just gonna to touch you. Oh, it's boy. okay. I'm just gonna to touch you. It's all right. But, you know, we just unhooded this bird yesterday and she's like, I don't like you humans. I don't know who you are. I don't trust you. There's no way she's gonna let me put this on her. Okay, but typically we would just say, hey, it's, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. Please, please don't prove your namesake to me. And I'd really like to get near that foot over there if it's okay with you. All right? It's just a matter of being patient. Can, can, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not gonna hurt you. I promise. I, I just need to put I need to put this on your leg. Okay? No, don't bite me. Don't bite. See eventually you can build up enough trust with the bird that they won't do this. So, we've gotta get this cuff on because what could happen is she could bait and only having one cuff on. She could break her leg. That's why we need both cuffs on. Yeah. All right. We're going to have to put the hood on her. All right. Take one. Here we go. So we're going to have to get a falconry glove, get her off of this perch, one-legged, without breaking her leg, and, uh, and then we're going to have to put a hood on her so that we can manipulate her in such a manner that we can put this back on. on. Step up. No. Gravy. Naughty dog. Come here. Sit. You just got excited. Shake. Good boy. Okay, you feel better? Okay, we can continue, I think. <laughs> I have not hooded this bird before. And it's only got one Jess on, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. Luckily, the bird hoods extremely well. This is a well-hooded bird. Full tooth action. That was way too easy. Wow, that was something to watch that right was there. Great. So this is what is called a bird that accepts the hood. Like, she didn't try to fight that. She understood exactly what was going to happen. And she was okay with all of it. What we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to call this, cast this bird. I've got to grab her legs, then I've got to flip her upside down. I've got to pull her legs out enough so that she can work on it. And we've got to take the other anklet off, put two anklets on, and then put the jesses back on. And I don't want to use these jesses. We're gonna add a swivel as well. Have you been so, footed before? Uh, no, I have not. You've you gotten all the scratches and goodness though from the owls and what? Oh, I I have earned my stripes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. I've got a a scar right here from a hawk. I've got that from hey, Jenna, come help me find goat. 
You can't fly a goat, can I? So I want to put a different leash set up on her and a different swivel, okay? So for the hawks, we would use these two jesses right here, this swivel and this leash. However, because of the falcon's length of its tail compared to the perch, we're going to need to put a leash extender between the end of the jesses and this ring of the swivel, all right? So if you'll take those off. Hi, Gracie. And then in their place, put this piece. Either way, it doesn't matter. Yep. Okay, there you go. We're going to put these through the anklets. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to put this part onto this part. Okay. All right, so the worst part is going to be this part right here, all right, is grabbing her. Put the, put the anklet around. Watch your fingers so you don't get bit. I'll put the just three. Nope, it just pulls straight through. There you go. Alright, there you go. No, don't bite me. Now you're gonna have to take the jest all apart. Watch your hand around his balance. Oops. Yep. Okay. Hang on. You gotta definitely gotta watch it. So take it apart down here first. Okay. Don't bite me. Going for the nipple. I'm gonna take it apart further down. We were on an owl rescue two days ago and my husband got no, his nipple pulled, pierced. Pull the leash all the way through. In really good shape. Let's just make sure. Ouch! Ow, that was my nipple. <laughs> okay, let ow, that's my <laughs> finger. Okay, no. let go. Very good. Now pull this one out completely. All right, now take the other one apart the same way. All right, now take that one off. Nope, this will pull the knot. Pull the knot out. There you go. Now take Put the other trap on. Try to keep the talons away from you. All right, put the knot through. This one? Yep. All right. All right, now hold both the loops together and open them up. Open them both up, there you go. Now put that one through once. Now grab the other end of the leash and pull it through that hole. Now pull all of it through. The whole thing got to come through, there we go. Alright, very good. Now put the falconry glove on. Grab the leash. Pull it, nope, don't do that. Just pull the leash all the way down. Good girl. Good girl. Alright. Good girl. Good girl. Well, that was a little stressful, I know. So, what we'll do is we'll let her calm down in the hood on the perch. So, go put the loop through the perch. Pull it all the way through. There you go. Now let her find the perch. Sit down. Nope, the other way. Yes, yeah, like that. Oh, oh. Put it right on the edge. Sit down. Good girl. And tie your falconry knot. So just that was really good. Is this cow leather? Is that what that is? No, it's kangaroo. Is that kangaroo? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's yeah, been it's, a hot second since those have been jammed. Thin. It's thin. It's just that what happened was that hole was cut too close to the edge. And it just eventually stretched and pulled through because that's what happened is that broke and we'll be doing a separate video on anklets again but we do have one on our channel if you're interested in seeing how to make those yourself and then we'll we'll pay attention to those anklets for a couple of days make sure they're not too tight make sure they don't stretch too much 
make sure that as the bird moves around and uses them that they are appropriate and if they're not then we'll adjust great work jenna thank you, you did good jenna how's your hand yeah it's fine it's fine i just got a little just a, a little, little ding dong dink right there. A little ding dong oh there's a little blood there yeah there's a little tiny bit of blood it's okay hey it's pretty you, pretty you solid gotta earn it. <laughs> yeah pretty solid crazy why don't you give us an outro yeah great right. gracie how what was this <laughs> from your perspective give us an outro <laughs> Well, I only saw like the last five minutes of it, but I think it went great. I think Jenna did great. Yes, she did. Um, like, subscribe, comment, click the bell notification, and we'll see you in another video. Okay, let's do it again. Good. Gracie's just not feeling really well right now. <laughs> do I have the only dog that likes to play with plastic jugs? Get your jug. Yep. All right, it's late on a Saturday evening here at Wildlife Command Center. I'm here by myself editing away, and I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Thanks for giving us uh, a super thanks. It's just a lot of plastic jug noises in the background currently. I just thought I'd let you guys know that there is a ton of great footage still in the pipeline. Multiple raptor rescue calls, more filming with Genetic Genesis and their bolt pythons, our Pacific Northwest series, if you haven't checked that out yet. If you're still watching, you're probably already subscribed, but make sure you set that notification bell to all. That is the most important step you can take in order to make sure you're seeing our latest content. Appreciate you checking out the links in the description. The super thanks. It all goes to helping Wildlife Command Center and supporting our animals on a daily basis. Peace.